My next guest's love of vegetarian food came from her parents, really, Linda and Paul McCartney. Since then, she has cooked for some of the world's biggest stars from, oh, there we are, Cameron Diaz to Dame Judi Dench for an incredible new project. She's launching a brand new cookery series for us as well. It's all going on. It's all going on. So you in the kitchen. I know. You. It's wonderful, Mary. We're so, so pleased. And this book about feeding creativity yeah. sort of combines your two loves, which is photography, and cooking, yeah. and you've married them, which yeah. is a great idea. Yeah, and I'm an ambassador for Meat Free Monday, which is such a simple idea. So it sort of stemmed from that, because mm. I'm always sharing recipes sure. for people that want to sort of try out not eating meat on a Monday. Yeah. Um, so I started sharing recipes, and then one day I kind of had this idea, this daydream, like, wouldn't it be great if I just took a recipe, cooked something, and took it to somebody and fed it to them? Yeah. Took a portrait of them do the recipe and it became Feeding Creativity. It's a brilliant idea. You've got yeah. people in there like Stanley Tushy, who yeah. I absolutely adore. Intimidating and of course he's, cooking. He, well, he is a dab <laughs> hand in the kitchen as we know and he's made, he's always, he said the other day, he said, I'm almost as well known for cooking now yeah. as I am for acting. And I turned up at his front door, I knocked on the door and I think he was super relieved because I sort of texted him because I'd photographed him in the past. Yeah. I was like, can I bring you a recipe for this new cookbook, Feeding sure. Creativity? He said yes, because he's lovely. But then he was so <laughs> relieved when I turned up at the door. I was just on my own with a bag of food and my camera. Right, it wasn't was like, a big He thought I was going to turn up with a film crew or something. Oh, but see, that's lovely. Now, you, you did cook for Judy Dange. Yeah. She's the politest woman in the world. Um, she's not a big fan of the carrot. She's funny. Well, she, she sent an email back <laughs> saying, I think you might regret having asked me because I eat like a child. There was like a list of things she didn't like. Right. And I made a minestrone and I took her an apple tart, which is in the book, but <gasps> I thought I'll bring her lunch. So I made yeah. a soup. Right. I checked the list and they'd forgotten to put carrots on she it. She doesn't like. So when I opened the soup, I could see, I was like, what is the problem here? And she was like, carrots. And I was, she ate it and she enjoyed it. it. Well, that's good. But when the apple tart came out, she inhaled she it. She absolutely would have loved that, She of loved course. a little glass of champagne. So we had a little glass of champagne and apple tart. It was That's obviously the key. Amazing. The key to life is a, is a wee glass of champagne. But what an adventure. Whenever. But what like, a great thing to do. Getting to go to our house and do that. So if I hadn't done this book... You wouldn't be just... able to meet all these great yeah. people as well. Jamie Dornan, who we love, yeah. and he's been in many, many things that we love, including the tourist quite recently. Yeah. Loved a chip butty. Loved a, a chip good, butty. A good, proper, proper chip butty. Man after my own heart. Me too. I love a chip butty. So do I. So, yeah, I made <laughs> him like a mushroom steak with oven chips and a Berlus Blanc sauce, which is in the book, the recipe as well. But then afterwards, I was like, you've got to have a chip butty oh, with loads of ketchup. And... It's one of the joys of life. You did, you cooked for your dad and for Ringo, didn't you? You did yeah. sort of pasta thing for them? Yeah. Yeah. I did, because I did this documentary about Abbey Road Studios. I remember, yeah. And so I interviewed Ringo, and they're not often in the same city, so I was like, right. what are you doing next Tuesday? I'm going to cook you both lunch. Oh, that's lovely. But Ringo is allergic to garlic and uh, and onions. Oh, jeez, so that must would, restrict you so much. The challenge is what to sort of flavours to infuse. Of course. Yeah, I love it. I like a challenge like No, that. you do. And I mean, goodness me, it hasn't vegetarian cooking and yeah. indeed anyone that's a vegetarian or indeed a vegan these days. Yeah. I mean, years ago, it was, it was considered a bit cranky. I mean, yeah. I remember when your mum did all of that and people were like, oh, we're not sure about this. See now, I always I often wonder what your mum would think of all these vegetarian restaurants yeah. and vegan dishes and, and books and everybody, especially the younger generation, are embracing it, aren't she they? She would be so happy. She <laughs> always used to say the younger generation are the ones that are going to bring it up. Of course. And I worked with her on her food brand and I'm still a consultant mm. for Linda McCartney Food. So um, she always loved the fact that there is so much variety now because yeah. hers was the first. It was. She's, like a, She's a, pioneer. a pioneer. Total pioneer. Um, but now there's so much variety. So yeah, we're always is pushing and she always wanted it to be really accessible and affordable of course so i kind of carry that on with the recipes in my book they're like really quick and easy well that's and no thing, faff yeah. no faff you loads see, of shortcuts yeah that's what we like when you said you turned up and it was just you yeah. and your camera keep it simple and just keep it simple and these are recipes that can work for everybody, everybody absolutely everybody and prepare ahead I love prepare ahead because when you're cooking for friends, you don't really want to be like slaving in the kitchen. So. No, you don't. Yeah, you don't. So. You mentioned as well. It's on it? its second print run. It's fantastic. I'm so Congratulations. Excited. Yeah, it's I'm really excited because it's a, a little bit of an odd hybrid book idea. So yeah, but I'm it's super happy. But it works because you've got the beautiful portraits of yeah. these really, you know, people that we know and love so scary, very much. Though, Ray. Is it, well, scary, Scary, because I don't know... Everyone thinks I'm like a celebrity portrait photographer, but often I'll just get asked... Beautiful. You know, you get a phone call from a 
magazine saying, will you go and take pictures of Cameron Diaz next week for mm. an article? Mm. And often I meet people that way and yeah. then it's about sort of forming a bond and right. creating a friendship. But that your job when you're doing, um, when you're photographing people, it's much, much more than just, you know, the actual picture, of course, is yeah. hugely important, of course it is. But it's getting the trust. Atmosphere, collaboration. It's getting the trust of someone yeah. that then you really get to them yeah. you know to the core of who they it's are the, i'm really big on chemistry so it's Yay. like if you can create a good chemistry between you and the mm. subject no it's and great. that's cooking is the same as well because it just warms people up and makes you happy it's such a great idea you mentioned the fact you, you yourself are a, a filmmaker yeah. there's a new movie sam mendes is going to be doing we just heard today Literally. a film on every single beetle such a great idea a brilliant idea such a great idea and I he'll do it, it really well he That's will. the thing about him, he'll do it. Look, if anyone's going to do it, he's the man for the job. I think so, I think so. Now, look, you're doing this fantastic new cookery series for us. We're yes. going to see the first one later. It's a cake. It's, Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> and it's no, a, a cake. cake with equal look. amount of icing. Look. It's, oh. It's a happy cake. You were talking about micro joys. Yes. This is a rainbow sprinkle cake. That and looks perfect. It's foolproof. It's is super it? easy. You just Even chuck it all in, make the batter. Literally, I'm telling you. Right. And it's a real crowd pleaser. It looks fantastic. It looks like the kind of cake you could have at a kiddies party. Yeah. You could have at a very sophisticated dinner party. Yeah. Should you so wish to do that. Or basically you just make it in school fits and watch the telly. That's kind of what I do, but don't Me too. tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, it's a joy to see you. Thank, Thank you for doing this. And as I said, we'll be seeing the lovely sprinkle cake yeah. later on. And as you said, very easy. Really to do. easy. Yeah, which is good. And it's not got eggs in it, so you can eat the batter raw. Oh. Ah. Yeah. I like doing that. Yeah, because I, I love like to eat that. batter. So do I. So do I. It's one of the. It's actually even better than the cake. Lick sometimes. the bowl. Lick the bowl. <laughs> if ever there was a metaphor for life, lick the bowl. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> I'm right. gonna get a t-shirt made. <laughs> Let's do that. Hello, I'm Mary, and I'm gonna share with you my recipe for my rainbow sprinkle cake. I've got an eight-inch cake tin, which I've just lightly greased with some plant-based butter. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of flour because I really don't want that batter to stick. So you don't need too much. Tap it around. Now I'm gonna get on with the batter. So this is 175 grams of unsweetened plant-based milk and then two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. And that adds like a buttermilk quality to it. Set that aside. Get a medium mixing bowl and I've got 60 grams of plant butter, vegan butter, some sugar, tip that in and then we're going to mix it and just cream this together. There we go. So that's mixed together and now I'm going to get some plain flour. I'm going to sift that in so there are no lumps. This is the kind of thing I would make for a kid's birthday party and also kids love to bake this with you. Add a little bit of baking powder to give it that lift. Combine that together and then add this kind of buttermilk that I've made. Gradually pouring that in. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of flavor, just two tablespoons of vanilla extract. It's really good stuff. And the color. I'm going for two tablespoons of sprinkles and just fold that in. And now all I need to do is get it into that baking tin. There we go, you can see those little sprinkles. I'm gonna get that into the oven for 45 minutes at 180 degrees. Simple. Cake's out of the oven and I'm gonna make a butter icing. First of all, sifting the icing sugar then some plant-based butter, nice and soft at room temperature. A little bit of vanilla extract for flavor. And a spoonful of unsweetened plant-based milk. And just spend time combining it all together. There we go. So you know when it's ready, when it's light and fluffy, and also it's gone this lovely pale color. And now to ice the cake. You can see all of the sprinkles. It's such a happy, bright, vibrant cake. I'm just gonna spoon out some icing. I go quite strong on the icing because it just looks brilliant. And now, obviously, this is a rainbow sprinkle cake, so we need some more sprinkles. Oh, 
It's just so bright and happy. It feels like a party in the kitchen. And that is it. That is my rainbow sprinkle cake. This cake brightens up any day. It brings me joy. And I think it will for you too. That looks fabulous. And you can find that recipe and loads more on our website. Thank you so, so much to Mary.